The Hittites forever changed the Near East with their pantheon of gods, their legal system, myths, and military. They established a pathway between the ancient East and West. Although the Hittite Empire fell in 1200 BC, its people lived on. The whole central area was lost to the Hittites, that is the old land of Hatti, but the southeastern provinces, the southeastern plateau, the Taurus states, the Euphrates states and North Syria uh, continued as what are called Neo-Hittite states uh, with uh, the Hittite traditions of writing, art and architecture. In thinking about what made the Hittites so special, we'd really have to say that they were not a highly innovative or creative people. What was noteworthy about them was the way they absorbed and preserved many of the elements of the civilizations of their Near Eastern neighbors, which enabled them to play an extremely important role in the preservation and transmission of these to later civilizations. And in the field of international diplomacy, they were at the forefront of the ancient peoples. And that's an important point because their long lease of power in the Near East was as much due to their diplomatic and political skills as it was to their prowess in the field of battle. That really does demonstrate that diplomacy can be at least as effective as military force in maintaining a country's power and influence in a particular region. The Hittites left an indelible mark on the Near East. Every part of Turkey resonates with their monuments, artifacts and inscriptions. The voices of Shupilulima, Hattusili, Murshali and Puduhepa echo in every corner of the land. And the vast ruins of Hattusha remind us of the magnificence that once was the Hittite Empire.